Are you thinking about watching a good movie this weekend? Well, your luck, because our friend Christopher Lloyd is here. Yeah. He's always breaking down all the new films out. Hi, Chris. Great to be here. Happy to have you here, man. Happy Friday to you. I'm liking the hair. It's like a Friday waving uh, thing going on. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it's Definitely. nice. It's Thank nice. Yeah. Very Fabio. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my. Well, is it Well, <laughs> Indy's Fabio, Chris Lloyd is here. We just need a fan. Right. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, um, Let's, let's, <laughs> let's, I don't know how we segue out so of that. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk about uh, Love Lies Bleeding, Chris. What do you know? So this is a cool sort of uh, neo film noir type of film, and it's uh, most notable because it stars Katie O'Brien, who's your actress, oh. Katie O'Brien, former oh, Carmel right. police officer Katie O'Brien. Yeah. Cool. And you remember her? She was in yes. uh, The Mandalorian, so she was in Star Wars, then she was in the Marvel Cin Cinematic Universe. Now she is sharing top billing with Kristen Stewart, not wow. too shabby. She plays a bodybuilder kind of wanderer who comes to town, hooks up with this young woman who's running the gym. They become lovers, very torrid affair, but they got some bad things going on. Her father runs a local gun range, is into some bad things. Played by Ed Harris, looking very, very creepy. And okay. Oh, uh, oh yeah. Wow. And you it were kind not of becomes kidding. a bit of a pot boiler where things go on. This is just a very, it's a smart, slick, sexy movie. Um, if you hadn't noticed who Katie Bryan is before, I think. You were going to notice her now because this is just yeah. a stand up and take notice kind of performance. She's very uh, vulnerable and charming, but also mm. dangerous in some ways. Okay. Uh, and just uh, also some notes of humor in the film towards the end that you maybe don't expect. So just yeah. a terrific little film uh, that I'm hoping we'll go check out. How's Kristen Stewart's acting in it? Oh, she's always terrific. She, okay. She's she much is more a great subdued. Actress, yeah. Like she's the she's the sort of like even killed one. Yeah. And Katie O'Brien plays the kind of like the wild child. Okay, cool. Okay, I can't wait to see that. That's that looks cool. good. Arthur the King, what'd you think of this one? I like this one. I did not expect to like this one. Oh. It stars Mark Wahlberg as an adventure racer who has just never won the big prize uh, and wants to give it one more go, puts together the, the team, um, and then during their journey, uh, they encounter this stray dog mm. um, that they sort of bond with, and then they're surprised. We're like, you know, if you've not heard of adventure racing, it's pretty crazy. They go to like the remotest jungles, El Salvador, places like that, um, Costa Rica, and then they'll have like this waypoint. So it's like, hey, uh, the next waypoint is 50 miles away. Any way you can get there, jungles, uh, rivers, mountain climbing, whatever, uh, and that's the race. And so it's based oh, wow. on a true story uh, of them guy team be bonded with this dog, uh, and they would find it along the path, tra following this whole way. That's wild. Uh, huh? So it's kind of a, interesting. It's like an inspiring sports saga with a shaggy dog tail. Yeah. Cool. Bit of an odd crossbreed of a movie, but I admit I did fall in love. That's fun. All okay, right. I love hearing that. Talk to us about the Neon Highway, Chris. So this is a small film starring Bo Bridges, older brother of oh, Jeff yeah. Bridges. Sure. Remember, Jeff Bridges won an Oscar. 15 years ago, oh, yeah. uh, and this is kind of a similar boot steps that older brother Bo is walking. He plays a washed up country star who uh, is just done with the music business and it's done with him, but he's got one more shot. He meets a young man who's written some songs that he really likes. Says, let's go on back to Nashville and see if we can uh, get this thing recorded. And of course, he thinks he's just gonna waltz back in and everyone's gonna welcome. And you know, all his old friends are either retired or dead or the record labels have folded. Mm. And it just kind of becomes an interesting story. This is in limited theatrical release. Okay. So might have to struggle to find a theater near us, but uh, it will be coming out, trickling out. Bo Bridges is terrific in it. Awesome. Really ground, grounded performance. Yeah, cool. Wow, that's great. So next one we have One Life. What about this one? This stars uh, the Sir Anthony Hopkins. Nice. True story yeah. of a man uh, in Czechoslovakia in 1938, 1939, who just felt compelled to save all of these children, Jewish children, who the war had not yet started, but everyone knew what was coming. And he started smuggling kids out uh, and just uh, went on this journey. Uh, younger man there with a the split story. I uh, haven't seen this one, but it looks really, really emotionally involving. Kind of a bit of a Schindler's List uh, mm -hmm. angle there. Yeah. But uh, yeah, really the great Anthony Hopkins. Can't okay. miss. Talk to us about Knox Goes Away. This stars um, Michael Keaton, and mm -hmm. he also directed this. Okay. Uh, and he plays a hitman who's kind of, you know, at the end of his career, uh, we're looking to wind things up, and he finds out he is uh, diagnosed with a rare form of dementia. Hmm. And yet he's still trying to do the hired killer thing. Meanwhile, his son, played by James Marsden, and his family is being threatened by some bad guys, so he has to come in. So just kind of a, a again, I didn't see this one, but a tight thriller yeah. with the, so, you know, the, the, the hitman with some additional mental challenge. I'm loving to see Michael Keaton's career continuing to progress in a great way. I mean, yeah. he's, oh, he's fantastic. So yeah. Calling his own shots. Yeah. Chris, we love when you're here. What's the best way to follow along with your team and you and all your reviews? Head on over to filmyap.substack.com. You can just read it like a website or better yet, 
hit the subscribe button. Everything we write or podcast or anything shows up in your email inbox the minute we post it. That's Just great. my favorite part. I love yeah. looking at that. Thank you, Thanks, Chris. Chris. We Enjoy your weekend. You. Thank you. Yes. Coming up next, we're going to learn about the garden classes that you can take at Traders Point Creamery. That's right. They're going to show us some amazing things that they're doing there. But first, Rye is getting ready for St. Patrick's Day weekend with Needler's Fresh Market. Take a look.